There are a ton of places you can buy your seats from, but this year we chose three. Uh, we can go into a more detailed... Uh... <laughs> okay, go again. Hey everybody, we thought we'd just uh, throw up a quick video here to let you know what uh, we've been up to the last couple days. So yesterday, we put some information out on the interwebs about a CSA. We spent all day working on our program. Once we got it finalized, we put it out there and opened it. Then uh, by the time we woke up this morning, we were sold out. So that's pretty awesome. Now we might open the program back up if all the payments don't go through, but we've been working all day on planning not each box, but a general idea of what each box is going to be like, or each share. Uh, and I want to show you one of the reasons why a CSA program is really important to farmers. As you can see, we got seed packet after seed packet. I think we counted almost 300 seed packets. Got jars of seeds, big old pound bags of seeds, got microgreen seeds and everything. And I want you to take a look at this. Here's one of the reasons it's so helpful for farmers to do a CSA to get money up front for the season. That's one seed order. We have three total that we're going to have to do, I think, from two, three different companies. This is after a free shipping discount and a regular order discount, still almost $300. And that's after uh, scrutinizing this list for the better part of this afternoon. Uh, so that's one of the reasons the CSA is so helpful. And one of the tools that has really helped us is the Market Gardener by J.M. Fortier. It has a lot of great information in this book. We actually took one of his classes last year. I think it was in February before the coronavirus started. We were looking through this book. We actually forgot. Um, he actually autographed it for us. So that was really neat. A lot of inspiration there um, that we have his autograph. And like I said, this book has a lot of great information just about market gardening in general has a lot of a great CSA section. So it's a great book to check out. And as you guys can probably tell, we've been super busy. Uh, we got the uh, dining area all cluttered up. We, uh, with filming, uh, working, emailing, printing out CSA contracts over here. This is, uh, the comfrey we planted the other day. So it's doing good. I need to get some more light on it. And we've been not diligent enough because it's kind of stretching just a little bit here there's a stevia seeds coming up there i'm doing pretty good i'm excited about that thought those were going to be hard to germinate but they're doing all right all kinds of we got scattered out and lists and plans and planograms and trying to decide what seed we need when and where and how to plant it and what each box is going to have in it there are a ton of places you can get seeds from but this year we're picking three now, if you want a more detailed video about uh, different seed catalogs that we get in the mail, you just go ahead and leave a comment below. The first place that we're doing that $300 order from is Johnny Select Seeds. Now, I like this company <clears throat> and this catalog because they give you a lot of information, especially online. They give you seed calculators, row calculators, uh, start date calculators, succession planning calculators, and they got some pretty cool tools to choose from, too. Now, Johnny's is more for the commercial grower, but they do have smaller packages for the home grower. That's how we got started ordering from them. Baker Creek is another company we like to order off of. They are an heirloom seed company, so it's a great company to order from. They have a huge variety, a huge selection to choose from, um, and their book is all in color. So it's, a, it's pretty much just to even look at. And if you want to find some weird, obscure stuff that ain't nobody ever heard of, Baker, Baker Creek. Creek. Now, they have this free catalog that you can request, or for like $13, you can get their whole seed catalog, which is just a wealth of knowledge. I think it's over like 500 pages. And all their seeds are available online, so you can check them out there. Now, the last one we're ordering from is Seeds and Such. We are ordering a lot of our peppers from this company. It's a good company. They have a, a lot of great information, um, just like Johnny says, underneath the seed packet. One of the seeds... We're going to try this year the peppers is it's called a full jew jalapeno so it looks like a jalapeno but it, do, it doesn't have the heat of a jalapeno and another thing about them they have smaller size seed packages so you don't have to buy seeds that you ain't going to use and we're also going to get these petunias right here i don't know if you can see there's a couple companies had these petunias this year but we're going to try to get some from them because i like the way they package their petunia seeds 
they're pelleted and then in a little vial. So you just tap them out in the cells when you want to plant in. So let us know what your favorite seed catalogs are in the comments below. Thanks. Have a good day. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, like and subscribe. Thanks, Thank guys. Thanks. There are a ton of places to get seeds from. <clears throat> yeah, you can bring it. You can be in the background going. <laughs> Got it. You can yeah. just be like, and then turn and throw them down on your chair or something. Like. <laughs> well, like I don't notice that you're doing it. Yeah.